Hey everybody, John back at you. So, I want to give you some updates what I'm doing for my epic adventure that's coming up. So, right now I am trying to sell everything I own and get rid of everything I own. Which is just, is just so cool, so stressful, so emotional. Everything about this at 64 years old, I'm just getting rid of everything I own and I am going to go on the road, live out of my Jeep, and tour the United States. So what I got here is, here's my apartment, it's an absolute mess. It is just trying to get everything, I've sold a lot of stuff already, and uh, I still got a lot of stuff up for sale, I'm trying to deal with all this uh, stuff with Craigslist and YouTube, uh, not YouTube, uh, Facebook marketing and this spam mail and all this other crap. Oh my God, it's crazy. But it's all gonna be worthwhile. So I got about four more days left as I'm filming this. And then I give up the apartment. I've already, I quit my job in about another couple more days. And then I'm free and I will be traveling. So right now, let me also give you a little update on my Jeep and some of the few things that I've done to it, modified it, and little upgrades. So here we go. All right, guys, let me show you some modifications I did. I bought some new tires. I got them on uh, Facebook marketing. I was looking for all kinds of, like maybe a mud terrain or something like that. And man, there's like $800, $900. We didn't get everything done. Oof, it was kind of out of my budget, so I got on was it um, Facebook marketing and I got Kenda tires. Somebody was selling them for three hundred dollars, three hundred twenty dollars. I got them for actually, and they're awesome. So basically, I got them from Sean. If you're watching, oh man, I love these tires. So check these tires out. These are the tires here. Look at these threads. Hopefully, I won't get stuck with them. Kenda, they seem to be pretty awesome. I love these tires. They seem to work very well. I drove in some wet weather with them. They held great. I don't get much uh, highway noise on them. Uh, well, actually, when I bought these, it says you only had 100 miles on them, so they're pretty much brand new. 300, $320. What an awesome buy. And it cost me another $100 to get them mounted and balanced. Sweet deal. All right, so another thing I did, I put in the front of my Jeep here, I put some hooks. So what I've been trying to do is kind of keep it stock. I didn't want to put big heavy metal bumpers in the front with wenches and in the back. So I'm trying to keep my gas mileage up for them because I'm doing a lot of traveling. So I put some hooks in the front here. Check these hooks out. I don't know if you can see that. I got these hooks here. So if I have to be towed, or if I gotta tow anybody, I got one on this side and one on this side here. So it gives me ability if I get stuck, I can be towed or I have to pull somebody, I have that option. Second thing I did to this thing was I put a, a hitch on the back. That way I can tow somebody or I can be towed out with a hitch here. I got something to, to, to latch onto, put a rope on, put a tow rope, or if I want to just later on, just tie it to sleep inside of it, I can buy some kind of little small trailer or anything like that. I, I have that option. So I bought this, tra this, this hitch here. That way, you know, I can put something on there, tow straps and stuff, and I have the ability to tow or be towed out. Also, I am a Overland Bound member. So, I just put this on the truck. Got my emblem right there. So I'm um, member number 15248. Very cool. I'm proud to be an Overland Mound member. Well, the other thing I'm trying to do too is on this window here, because Jeep's got to have stickers. So I'm just going to do this whole window right here on fly fishing shops and just fill this hole with that because man I just want to fly fish when I get up in the Great Tetons, Wyoming and just fly fish. So, so far I got the Sable River 2 fly shop that's up in the Adirondacks 
and I got the black fly outfitters down in Florida where I tried to do some red redfish fishing. And for navigation, I set up this thing here. So I have this system here for my iPad, which I can uh, navigate with. And up here, then I got my uh, iPhone. So I can run Google Maps and all kinds of stuff off my iPhone here. And on my iPad, I'm hoping I can do uh, like my, my Gyna which is a hiking app, but with the upgrade, it does all the four-wheel drive roads, and just, it will help a lot when you're out west. So, that's my uh, little upgrades to the Jeep so far. I've got a few more upgrades still coming up, but back here, I got so much stuff still to do. I got like four more days. I still got a lot of junk in this apartment I got to get out. Oof, am I stressed. <laughs> but it's all worthwhile. I'm still having a blast with this and I'm excited to get on the road is which is going to be pure freedom, man. I just going to go wherever I want to go. And the first stop will be basically May 17th is the Overland West Expo and I'm going to head there and I just can't wait to experience that whole thing there. It's going to be awesome. So, I'm John. I'm over the hill. And don't forget Never stop listening to rock and roll. And we'll catch you guys later. And don't forget, smash that like button if you like it. Smash that subscribe button too. And we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.